the last few days, I've had leaders say that in Nyanza, they don't elect those who come in Odia. And that I don't need anybody else to be president. I want to say this. That Rahel Odinga needs everyone's vote to become president. Not just ODMers. Not just the new people. Rahel Odinga needs everyone's vote. And request leaders, especially from Nyanza, to stop their arrogance, to stop their cruelties, and look for votes in a peaceful manner, in a manner that seduces votes that does not get apathy. Because if you tell us that there will only be one candidate for governor in CIA, what happens to those guys who want to run? What happens to their supporters? So, to the point that Donald Jaguzi came and said to Mufrai Kwamba, Raila is the president. But he has been saying that Raila is the president. He has been saying that Raila is the president. Let's decide who becomes the MCA. Who is the president? 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 We cannot be told about six feet. No. Let people elect the person they want. Let Raila become the president. He will work with those that people will give him. That's what I want to say. Because we've seen the net result of the six piece propaganda. It's net cost for the online. Say I come to today, 70 billion later, you don't feel the count in Sega, you don't see it. 70 billion later. Billion is a billion, you don't feel the count anywhere in Sega, you don't see it. And so we must get it right if we are to move as a people. We must get the right governor, we must get the right senator, the right of parliament, the right MCA. So that on the issue of the presidency, we agree on Raila. But on these are issues, I can assure you, we're going to fight. We're going to ensure that people get the right leaders that they deserve. We have three, four months, or it's five months now to elections. We may even have one two at our Kenyans. One by two in our mind. I want to beseech all of you. I mean, for the last three, four, five months, I've been telling everybody that I meet, let those who want to come and run for MCA, come and sell their agenda. Let those who want to run for MP or Uze Serazao. Let those who want to run for governor or Uze Serazao. For me, that is very important. And I would not want to tell you that. I want everyone to be able to say their say. Everyone to be able to, you know, do their do. But then when the time comes, people can then make a decision on what they want as their leaders for governor, senator, all these things. It's very important that when that happens, we do it peacefully. To Ifanye, Kwamani. I think we as Nyanza people, we as rules, God has not been so good to us. Because this time, the presidency of Raila Amolo Dinga looks more certain than it's ever looked. And if you look at how poor we have become, prices of goods have gone up and all that, Raila Amolo Dinga is a president we've been waiting for. And we believe that this is a chance for Raila Amolo Dinga to be elected president of the country. And we're not going to vote for him because he's a duo. No. we we'll vote for him because he stands for things that take our interest. Raila Amolo Dinga said that he wants to expand Tertiary education. He has said he wants to expand chances for internship. He wants to expand chances for work for our young people. And he has said that when you finish college and you don't have a job, he'll give you a lubusita, kill a moezi, ujiki, and after cars. We have gone to the Kotala because it's poor. He has said that he's going to fight corruption that has eroded the fabric of the country. And we believe him.